some IFO. I know we look, normally we like to start this off with our beautiful models, but I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something different at you, and I don't want to give away the surprise, but it might be. What yeah, you I'll do, homie. I'll do, homie. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You'll this time we ain't going to go with no models, dog. You're going to go with your boy Hector. You feel me? I do. Feel, speaking, yeah. of, speaking of feeling you, what's your Instagram for those who may not know if they've been living under a rock? Oh, yeah. Kind of like his life. Uh, actor Noel G. Actor Noel G. That's my Instagram. That's what's up. Yeah, make Yo, sure. Vegan. I've been trying to tell you for years. Get a friend! Noel G, make sure when you follow him, you send the most evil eggplant emojis possible. It's rare that black on black doesn't look just classy as hell. I'll say AF as F. You know what I'm talking about. This prime example. Then we're going to take that black, throw the opposite. Boom. White. The black wheel is the Lotus. Of course, it's a Honda S2K right here. You knew that right. I didn't have to tell you that. The Lotus, right? And this Lotus likes to name everything with an E, like the, I think like the Exige. The, the new one is like an E, it's like an Alyssa or something. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just so busy staring at this beautiful car. That, uh, most of these are what, Toyota powered, I believe? And you know what, why not? legends that we're doing tonight not today tonight because as the sun goes down our interests go up so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do it up right there I'm gonna do it a little different uh, instead of kind of like walking through a lot of the cars like I like I like you to see tonight's show I didn't even shave which I should have oh well we're gonna roll with it I'm just gonna be like this is a cool car boom this is a cool car let's take a walk me and you our minds will meld and we'll appreciate the chassis and the aluminium together can you guys tell that I've been watching a lot of uh, British car shows because it's aluminum instead of aluminum. Also carbon fiber. And you know what? Mark IV, love it. Hey, why not? And this is cool. It kind of looks like a uh, like a 1970s robot. You like McDanger or Will Robinson. This is awesome. And Corgi sticker. I don't have extra points, but if I had extra points to give, boom, that would be it. Charger. We see him all the time. With Stance, we don't see that all the time. All right, Subaru with the Lambo doors. And I always like to wonder what people who aren't car people might walk up and be like, what's a Subaru Burstis? Honda, and this is like a, a matte satin blue, and it really pops with that engine bay. Cool job. I'm off blue, da boo dee ba boo die da No, but here's actual blue. All right, coming around here with this Lotus. These things are itty bitty, by the way. They're just, they're, they're like, they're go-karts with a beautiful power to weight ratio. And if you don't know how small these are, I've never seen one. This is just, all right, typical Dodge Ram. But look at that size. And if you want to get even sillier with it, look at the Lotus compared to, as I'm taking meters and meters of steps back, like, you know, you could just take this Lotus, eh, drop it back there, boom, and just go. Escalade, you can't show that you're a rising rap star. You can't even put that SoundCloud link unless you got a Rover or an Escalade. All right, so there's a really cool Porsche I want to show you guys, but I like I can't get through all the. Oh, perfect opening! Look at that. Thank you. I used the force. All right, we gotta check out the wrap on this Panamera. It's, you know, it because the sun's going down. I wish I could show you. It really is like a beautiful, like a uh, like an electric teal, and it just for something about the Panamera. I've never been a, or like a really big fan of the body of it. I'm like, okay, it's a grocery getter with four doors, but this color, the big old wang. I dig it. Yoda, right hand drive, you must be, right? Okay, that was my uh, don't sue me George Lucas impersonation. So, Toyota, right hand drive, 
really cool. And I'm gonna put this in here real quick and hopefully the texting algorithm doesn't pick this up. Hey, four door Godzilla. That way we can bring more tiny zeros with us. If you ever failed a geometry class, then this rap is a living hell for you. All right, I'm totally interrupting this guy who's just trying to enjoy his definitely not alcoholic drink. Pretty engine bay in this Honda. Ooh, ah, and then sneak on the driver. What's up, bro? Sylvia, yes. Beautiful engine, yes. Spooly boy, yes, yes. For some reason, I just want to watch an episode of King of the Hill, and I can't quite put my finger on why. In a sexy, yes, from the front. In a sexy, yes, from the back. And, hey, from the middle. And that's not even sexual, because how would you do it from the middle? I think this is a Honda Trail. And just to show you guys how small this little Honda is, this right here is technically a mini truck. And this is like a 16th the size of it. Thanks for bringing this out. Oh, I probably shouldn't say this, but man, if we were doing trophies today, you would be getting one. If you're wondering like, why? Why would that truck get in like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe this and that. I'm not even worried about the lights. The lights are cool, kind of the wide body action. Interior, clean, got the scuba tank. That's a joke, I know it's not a scuba tank. Purple done correct. Purple done. Uh... Guys, check this out. I'm not kidding you. That is a female driven Z06, right? Awesome. You guys have seen our low car limbo, right? I know you've watched our two step and you've watched our low car limbo. What typically wins the Roadster category? What typically wins? Mazda Miata. I know that's what you're thinking. That's what your grandma's thinking. People haven't even seen the episodes, which should be no one. You know, the Miata's typically win Roadster. There's a lot you can do with them slamming to the ground, all kinds of cool stuff. Or you can just say, I'm going to be a rebel. That's a raised Miata. Evo. And you know, none of my cars have any pillar pods, but I'm wondering at what point with the pillar pods, like is three too many? Is it going to be four? Is it going to be five? Like I would just have pillar pods going all the way back and be like, yep, that's right. I can see the air pressure of all four of my tires, even the spare. I thought the Lotus was going to be the smallest car here. I was 10 kinds of wrong. Honda beat it up. All right, another example of royal purple done beautifully. And here we have cool sunset, by the way. This, I think, was one of the last generations of eclipses before they just weren't fast anymore. The next generation that came after this was kind of a grocery getter. But I like this, I like the engine work, and that's exactly what you needed. you guys love and I mean love your purple cars but you do it really well all right we just saw one of the most beautiful generations uh the NSX the black one but this this is looks really oh it's a cool effect because people are walking by it looks like maybe the headlights were strobing they're not that's just uh the world of light and refraction thank you for coming to my TED talk so I came over here to see what the people are looking at and uh this right hand drive cool freaking just jdm like when you watch like cartoons and they always have like the president of japan this is always what they pull up in except probably not with the camber all right here in oklahoma at this event so far i haven't seen really a lot of civics so here's one all right i was about to show you guys some really cool right hand drive cars with a bunch of them but um let's pause on that thought i like to go where the people are and it's like a mini lichen I don't know what kind of crazy, it looks like the he's been trunken down and put in this mini car. And we're just gonna sit here for a second. I might edit this out as he comes down the track. 
Oh, here we go. We're in motion. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I rarely get a chance to say that. Oh, nice, some nice scrapage. It's so fun. There's a there's a full grown adult in that. It sounds way bigger than it is. I gotta figure out what's powering this. No, seriously, that's. <laughs> I love the import base off of that. I know you're all thinking, what power is it? What power is it? What do you think that is? All right, so I took a look at it. I used to have a Honda CBR street bike and too many people got hurt on them, so I sold mine. But I do know my street bikes and that's a, uh, that's a Hayabusa motor inside that kit car, I guess. Looked at it, Mike, that's a Suzuki Busa motor. And the guy was like, yep. And that is why you never know what you're gonna see, what you and I are gonna see, the wonders of the world in the car world here at IFO. That is cool, and now I want one. Let's see what all these people are looking at. Those are Mopar wheels and Viper. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Mopar guys. Look at that big old honking thing inside of that big old honking thing. Even if you weren't a domestic fan, even if you didn't like Mopar, if somebody said, hey, I got a supercharged Viper for you, you'd be like, uh, yes, please, yes, please, keys. And coming off this badass in the domestic world to this, Badass of the import. Oh, look at my head. Hi there, head. You're inside the wheel well. This is a, uh, I'm telling you, it's just one of, you know, people would say one of the most reliable exotics out there and uh, just beautifully done. And I'm just kind of spitting out words, Ryle, so we can look at this a little bit longer. I like this. I wonder what power is it. I'm standing back here. It looks like, not a Toyota, maybe a Mazda engine. In this crazy chest, it is. It's a dual overhead cam Mazda engine in this, and I feel like this is like the most unsafe fun you can have. One, two. Oh my God, there's a third. This is like this is a human head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's, all right. Let me know when this is ready. There's a man in here breathing his last breath. We gotta get this out. <laughs> It's not, yeah, that's, <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. If it's gonna, wow. Okay, you cleared it. The beat is still in the day. All right, guys, girls, everybody. You have that, that article of clothing that maybe, maybe it fits a little tight on you. Maybe it, it's, you know, a, or maybe it's way too big on you, but you still wear it nonetheless because you're just happy with it. Well. That's the freaking engine version of that. That doesn't belong in there at all, but I'm really happy that it is.